Hi, this is Terry with Sweet Stitch and Embroidery and Design. I want to show you how to split a pattern, uh, to make a split pattern a little bit wider in this area here to either insert taller lettering or even put some kind of design in there. This one's already pretty wide, but we're going to make it even wider. And I'll show you a simple way of doing that. All we have to do is uh, go up here to Edit. And split pattern or you can use the shortcut which is holding down the alt key and the letter s and that'll bring the split pattern up also so let's left click here and you can see we've got cut pattern select points so right now this is grayed out and that's because we don't have anything selected yet as soon as we get something selected an area to cut this will become black and be active won't be gray anymore so let's left click here. And you'll see the little dots, the little stitch, the little points that come up, cutting points. Go around here, select the whole outline of our pattern. And if you ever make a mistake, all you have to do is hit the delete button and that will go back uh, to the last point. So you don't have to start over. It will back up one point. If you hit the delete button again, it will back up two. So we'll go around here. See, I made a mistake, so let's hit the delete button. Go right there. Let's click. Now our hoop's too small, so what I need to do is I'm going to put the hoop button here. I'm going to make my hoop just a little bit bigger. On the good side, too. There we go. We'll just make it really big until we get our design cut. Now we'll go around the edge. We got our area selected, the whole top half selected. So we do cut pattern. And we want to cut and save all because we're not removing any parts of our design. So we we'll do cut and save all. And you'll see now we've got extra stitch blocks here because uh, some of these have been separated. They were all one unit. The blue here was part of this blue before. This blue was part of this blue before. But now they're all separate. So if you click on here, you only see the line now. If I click this one, there's the star. If I click here, And click that one. So now what we want to do is we want to um, move it to make it wider. So what we want to do is we want to select these. So left click one of the stitch blocks here of the area you want to move. Hold down the control key. Click this one, this block, until we get this whole section here selected. We don't want that yellow star. So we've got all the parts here that we cut. Now what we can do is we can hold down our left mouse button and we can drag them up a little bit. Well, first we need to close this. Now we've got these selected. 
and we can either make it get closer together. And it's best to have the grid on. So let's turn on our grid lines, view grid lines. That way we've got a line to reference. We've got this selected, we can either, like I said, move it down closer, or we can hold down our left mouse button and drag it up higher. And we've got a really high. Pull it back down. We've got fireworks in the background, if you can hear those. It sounds like bombs going off. So if we want, we can either move this over to the grid to make sure that we got everything lined up. So hold this over. That's actually not the same size. You look at that. The split bars are not. Okay, and that's all there is to it. That's how you move it. And then another way you can select this, I showed you the hard way, where you have to hold the left mouse button and hold the control key. You can do that, or you can just go over here and just click the section you need. Often, though, uh, not everything you need is selected, so that's why I was saying you should do that. Or you can also drag it, put your left mouse button up here. Hold down the left mouse button and drag over. That's another way to select it. So I hope this answered your questions and everyone have a great evening and a happy 4th of July.